Hello, Kim students. Today we are discussing significant figures. So what are significant figures? First, let's talk about the process of making detailed measurements. First, you always estimate between the lines. If the measurement is on the line, you estimate or add a zero to show that you are estimating to be exactly on the line. Always include one estimated digit in your measurements. Let's try some examples. We need to determine the measurement for A. Each one of these markings is 0 0.1. I can determine that by taking two numbered markings next to each other and subtracting them. In this case, it would be 1. Then I can take the number of lines to get from one marking to the next. In this case, it would be 10. I take the 1 and divide it by the number of markings, or 10. The answer is 0 0.1. So each marking is 0 0.1. Looking at A, we can see that it is between 0 0.5 and 0 0.6. So we know for sure it is at least 0 0.5 and now we need to estimate a digit. It is not exactly on the line, so we will not estimate zero. It is closer to the 0 0.5 than the 0 0.6, so we should choose a number between one and nine, but closer to the lower side, since A is closer to the lower number of 0 0.5. I'm going to choose two. It would be okay to choose one or three because remember this is an estimate or a number that we do not know for sure. Pause the video and try the next ones on your own and then come back and check your answers. Here are the answers. Remember, your last digit can be one or two off of these because it is an estimated value. D and E must end in zero if you are estimating them to be on the line. How do you take measurements when a meniscus is present? You always take measurements from the bottom of the meniscus. Burettes measure the amount of liquid that is released. A graduated cylinder measures how much liquid is being held. You can tell the difference between the two because a burette is marked upside down or the numbers increase when you go down the burette. A graduated cylinder's numbers increase as you go up the cylinder. Let's take a measurement. This is a graduated cylinder because the markings are increasing as you go up. First, we need to determine what each of these markings are worth. We will take the 30 and subtract it from the 40, and the answer is 10. Next, we divide that by the number of markings it takes to go from 30 to 40, and that is also 10. So 10 divided by 10 is 1, which means that each marking is worth 1. Now let's look at A. We start at 30 and go up. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. I know it is at least 38 milliliters, and now I need to estimate. It is between 38 and 39, but closer to 38. So I am going to estimate 38.2. Now let's determine the measurement for B. We will start at 30 and go up. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. I know it is, at, it is 35 and it is not in between the lines. I cannot leave it at 35 though. I must estimate one digit. And since it's directly on the line, then we estimate that digit to be zero. This example is a burette because the markings increase as you go down. Each of these markings are worth one. We always begin at the lower of the two numbers, and in this case it's 10. So 10, 11, 12. I know is that at least 12, but not quite 13. It is ha is about halfway between, so I will estimate it at a 0.5. 
So 12.5 milliliter. The final volume is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It is directly on the 15 mil line, but I can't leave it at 15. I always have to estimate, and since it's on, I have to estimate one digit, and since it's on the line, I'm going to estimate that the last digit is a zero. The amount of liquid released would be the final, minus the initial, or 15.0 minus 12.5. Thanks for watching.